Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. This is MTG Ghoul Dude on another episode of Ghoul Decks. And I wanted to share with you guys my Ruby Daring Tracker deck that I recently built. And I wanted to do this a little different, but I also wanted to do something that was kind of familiar. So, let's start out by reading uh, Ruby. Ruby Daring Tracker for a red and a green is a 1-2 legendary creature human scout with haste. And whenever Ruby Daring Tracker attacks, while you control a creature with power 4 or greater, she gets plus 2, plus 2 until end of turn. And she can tap to add a red or green. So, I seen this commander and I thought, how do we make this a little bit better than what everybody else is doing with it? Because, as, on face value, this is just a regular Mana Dork creature commander. Well, I wanted to partner this up with a well-known creature, Rada Draga, Raga Draga, Gorgut's boss, because not only does she get plus two, plus two, making her a, what, a three, four? At this point, she gets to untap and do it again, and then she gets even bigger, becoming a five, six, whenever she attacks. And then, if she attacks, she gets basically vigilance. And this um, this ability on Raga, Raga Draga is actually going to come in handy because we're going to be casting some really big spells that will actually impact having creatures with bigger power and toughness. And Trample does help too. But how, So how are we going to get Raga Draga? Well, we're going to use Gamble, Worldly Tutor, Green Sun Zenith. Oh, and I think I left one in there with it. I think he, one shifted in there with him. Let's see. Oh, yep. Shared Summons. Shared Summons was behind the... These are fresh sleeved. So they're kind of having to slip together a little bit. And Finale of Devastation. This is going to help us get Raga Draga and some other creatures in the deck. To help us go with our game plan of killing our enemies with fire, quite literally. Uh, we have instances of Bane Fire, Comet Storm, and Crackle with Power because it deals five times. So all you got to do is like uh, 10 damage to each opponent, even though that's like 32 mana. Still, we're going to be trying to get there as fast as possible. For a little bit of help, we're going to have the Black Blade Forge to give some of our creatures a buff. This one might seem like a weird one, but with Raga Draga, a Tarka Monument just becomes a 6-6 six, six Red Green Dragon Artifact Creature with Flying. Because it does become a creature and it does have a mana ability. So let's get into the creatures of the deck. Dryad Arbor, Birds of Paradise, and not only can we use these creatures to help bolster the game plan of dealing excessive amounts of damage using fireballs to our opponents, but we can use creatures to make them to deal damage to their face. Lanoir Elves. I like adding the mirror any chance I get because I just don't think since the what that one mirror he came about that he really got in the mirror had any actually time to shine. Druid of the Cow. Goblin and Archimancer is going to reduce our mana cost. Hedron Crawler. Iron Mirror. Leafkin Druid. Paradise Druid. Steve. You gotta have a good old Steve. Zerta. Let's see if we can move this light a little. There we go. That's a little better. The glare ain't as bad. Oh, that's even better right there. Alloy Mirror. Eternal Witness. Heron Blade Elite is one of those ones that it is totally dependent on how much mana we can get out of it because of its power. And Lanawar Visionary. Pladium Mirror. Reclamation Sage is going to double as uh, removal. Karamatch's Acolyte. 
Leaf Kin Avenger can do good work when it, we have a bunch of creatures on the board. Parmordial Sage is going to fill in with some card draw. And some of the biggest bangers of the deck, along with Raga Draga, are Nyx Bloom Ancient. It's going to allow us to tap for three times as much. And Zapandra, which is going to double all of our creatures' power and toughness until end of turn. And we can just make him indestructible, so we get it forever. On to the enchantments of the deck, along starting out with Kinnerous Transformation for a little draw and removal effectively. Colossal Majesty for a little bit of card draw. What do you guys think about the new uh, the new arts from the new set, uh, Wilds of Eldraine? Because I'm really digging them. Like you can see in the light right there, it's really nice. I like them personally. Let me know down in the comments below what you think about them. Rhythm of the Wilds is going to keep our creature spells from getting countered. Guardian Project for some card draw. Garuk Primal Hunter. He is not in the deck to make big worms. He is card draw, effectively. Here we get into our sorcery, starting with Atraxus Fall. And our ramp, Farseek. Nature's Lore. Rampant Growth, Kodama's Reach, because lands are extremely important in this deck. Besides having a bunch of creatures that tap for mana. Chain Reaction is going to serve as a board wipe if we need it. Harmonize for the card draw. Triumph of the Hordes will be an extra effect if we need to combat damage through to win the game. Shamanic Revelation will maybe even be card draw if we can get our creatures big enough. And life gain. I decided to throw to give Genesis Storm a try because this is gonna be a commander card that we're gonna be if we can if we can't get our constantly get our get our game plan going, we're gonna be casting our commander a bunch. So if we can just keep revealing cards, creatures, and sometimes get even some really good ones, that's even better. Risk cards expertise to help us play spells from our our hand. Blasphemous Act is going to serve as another board wipe. And here we get into our instance. Oop. Nature's Claim is going to serve as some removal. Noxious Survival in case our plans get foiled and they end up uh, countering our spell. Vitalize is going to help untap all of the mana dorks so we can make more mana. Like we're going to need it. Heroic Intervention. Ooh, let's see if we can angle this up just a hair. I'm working with a new uh, setup for the camera. So you guys are going to have to forgive me if I'm having te technical difficulties. I oh, thought I had it. Alright. Let's just back this up just a hair. There we go. I feel like that's a little better. Alright, so... Return to Nature, Thrill of Possibility, Beast Within, Chaos Warp to sometimes maybe even Chaos Warp something of ours. Bolt Bend, if uh, you haven't ever heard of this card, this is a good little card. It is a more budget alternative to the uh, Deflecting Swat because it'll only be a red. And because we are trying to get four more power, it's just going to counter a spell, more than likely. Or change the target. Return of the Wild Speaker. And here we get into our non basic lands. Starting out with Cinder Glade, Command Tower, the Pathway, the Red Green Pathway, Exotic Orchard, Game Trail, Moss Fire Valley, Moss Warp Bridge, because we more than likely will be setting up a bunch of creatures with a lot of power. Raging Ravine. Reliquary Tower, Rockfall Vale, Spire Garden, that beautiful, I don't know if you guys can see it, but that is a uh, Comet Foil, a Taiga, and I decided to go with these uh, Wilds of Eldraine Mountains and Forests, but that is going to be it for today guys, if you like this video, if you like the concept of it, let me know down in the comments below. 
if you have any suggestions for the deck also let me know down in the comments below I will leave the link to the deck in the description of the video it is gonna be a architect link for anybody looking and I will see and that's gonna be it for today uh, I appreciate all my all the new subscribers all the old subscribers everybody that likes comments and shares but that's gonna be it for today and I will see you guys next time in the graveyard <laughs>